Hi, today I'm gonna to give you an easy, simple way that you can boost your testosterone by 20% in just 20 minutes. If you're looking for natural ways to increase your testosterone without taking injections or unnecessary medications, this video is for you. I'm gonna to explain to you the science behind why exercise raises your testosterone levels. I'm gonna tell you what types of exercises work and what doesn't work for raising testosterone, plus give you easy tips that you can use when you analyze your own workout to see how effective it might be. Then I'm gonna give you two separate workouts. One of them's pretty intense, but it can raise your testosterone by 30%. And then I'm gonna give you the easier workout that only takes 20 minutes twice a week, and that one will raise your testosterone by a pretty substantial 20%. I'm Dr. Dave Clayton, let's get started. Well, first, if you've spent any time thinking about raising your testosterone naturally, you've seen evidence online that exercise is a great way to do it. In fact, there's a ton of research out there that supports the connection between exercise and testosterone levels. Over 2,000 papers have been written on this topic and they come out at a rate of about 160 new publications per year. And researchers are studying every conceivable angle. They're looking at high intensity interval training and bodybuilding and powerlifting and endurance training and cardio, every type of workout. And then they get into the nuances. Is it the contraction of the muscle or the lengthening of it? What time of day is best? What muscle groups are best? So. There's a trove of research out there that can point us in the right direction. And when I looked at all this, I said, let's make it simple. Just tell me if I'm looking to raise my testosterone, what exactly should I be doing in the gym and what kind of benefit am I going to see? But before we get into that, I want to share with you some of the science behind why exercise raises testosterone levels. And to do that, I just want to talk a little bit about testosterone physiology. Testosterone is produced directly by the Leydig cells in the testicles, but testosterone can also be created by the peripheral conversion of DHEA, which is a hormone that comes from the adrenal gland, which then gets converted to androstenedione and then into testosterone. So we've got the Leydig cells producing testosterone directly, and then we've got the adrenal glands that are making DHEA that gets converted to testosterone in the peripheral circulation. Now, everything ends somewhere, and testosterone ends in the liver. The liver is the filter that's going to take testosterone out of circulation. So what you've got is you've got Leydig cells producing testosterone, you've got the adrenal glands producing DHEA that gets converted to testosterone, and then you've got the liver pulling it out of circulation. And the interesting thing is when we look at the research, exercise probably impacts every single step along the way to increasing testosterone. It works to increase the Leydig cell's ability to produce testosterone directly. It increases the peripheral conversion of DHEA into testosterone, and it reduces the liver's affinity to pick up testosterone and take it out of circulation. So we've got increased production, increased conversion, and decreased excretion of testosterone, leading to these gains that I'm talking about, 20 to 30% boost in your testosterone with exercise. And there's a good reason why exercise works so well to raise your testosterone levels. You see, there's androgen receptors. Those are testosterone receptors that are in our skeletal muscles. That's all the muscles in our body. And those receptors signal our muscles to do two things. One is to increase the amount of protein that we integrate into the muscle to make them bigger and stronger. And it also turns off the ability of the rest of the body to poach protein from our skeletal muscle. See, every time we need to make an enzyme or digest food, we've got to create proteins for use elsewhere in the body. And sometimes we want to steal those from our skeletal muscles. So by having a lot of testosterone on board, you're telling your body to keep building muscle and don't steal protein from that muscle. But when we boost our testosterone with exercise and we have that impact on the muscle, we also get impacts elsewhere in the body. You see, exercise can increase our testosterone levels by anywhere from 10% to 30% based on you know, the large body of research out there. And the benefits to that are everywhere in our body. We're getting increased energy, increased libido, better fat distribution and fat metabolism. We're getting increased production of red blood cells so that we carry oxygen more efficiently throughout the body 
and then we're getting these gains in bone density and muscle strength that we want as we maintain our strength and virility as we age. So with that as background, let's talk about what elements of a workout work best for raising testosterone. And first and foremost, it's all about the intensity. You've got to push your muscles to failure in order to see the kind of gains that we're going to be talking about in this video. If you want that 20, 30% bump in your testosterone, you've got to push so hard that you're pushing your muscles to failure. We're going to look at shorter periods of rest and fewer periods of rest, more work, less rest, and high volume. So we want to lift a lot of weight in a short amount of time, and we want to use bigger muscle groups can't lift the weights with our little finger and get the kind of results that we can by engaging huge muscle groups like our hamstrings, our quadriceps, our chest, and our back. And therefore, it should be no surprise that weight training or high-intensity interval training are probably the two most effective ways to raise your testosterone levels in the gym. And what doesn't work is the longer distance endurance stuff. So if you're gonna spend an hour in the pool or if you're gonna run a marathon, don't expect to see reasonable gains in your testosterone levels. It's probably not going to happen. And for sure, walking is never going to change your testosterone levels. So if we're doing some of this more endurance training work or kind of light recreational exercise, we really want to change our mindset if we want to see gains in testosterone from our exercise program. Now, what doesn't matter, importantly, is your age and your fitness level. It doesn't matter whether you're 60 years old, or whether you're 20, you'll still see a significant increase in your testosterone levels when you put these principles into practice. And your fitness level doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether you're an Olympic weightlifter or whether you're new to weightlifting, you'll still get the boost in your testosterone once you put these principles into practice. So really, you know, at any point in your life, you can flip a switch and say, I'm going to put exercise to use to raise my testosterone levels and you can be sure that you're gonna see these benefits. So let's talk about what's the optimal workout for raising your testosterone levels. And for this, I wanted to find a workout that saw one of the highest increases in testosterone, but was something that anybody with access to a fully equipped gym could put into practice. And this is a pretty intense workout. You're looking at 10 weeks of training, and you're looking at three workouts per week, and these are gonna be fairly long workouts. And during this 10 week training period, you're gonna be adding volume and intensity stepwise over the course of the 10 weeks. So first we do three weeks of added volume, that's more weight, more sets, uh, more reps. And then in four weeks after that, we're gonna do more volume, keep adding those repetitions and sets, but we're also gonna add the intensity, we're gonna push a lot harder. And then in the last three weeks, we just focus on pushing harder with the same amount of volume but you're never getting kind of a break or a plateau. You're always pushing to improve over the course of the 10 weeks. Now, at a glance, this is what the rep scheme looks like and the workout schedule looks like as published in the paper by the researchers. I'll leave some links in the description so that you can reference this for yourself. But the improvements in testosterone were pretty substantial. If you put in this effort, you saw significant gains. So they started with a baseline testosterone of 331, and after 10 weeks, it went up to 426. So it's a 29% increase in testosterone if you compare the baseline to a rest day at week 10. So pretty substantial, and I think all of us can agree that this is incredible to think that you're getting all the benefits of exercise plus this huge boost in your testosterone with three workouts a week. But let's say you don't have that kind of time in the gym and you said, just give me something simple. Well, the good news is, is you can get most of that benefit, a 20% increase in your testosterone levels by just putting in 20 minutes twice a week. Now, before I show you this workout, I wanna go over the data with you in terms of the benefits you're getting from this 20 minute workout. First comes testosterone. So you're looking at total testosterone and as soon as you hit the gym, you're getting that 20% bump in testosterone that I promised you. And as you get into the post-workout period, that'll plateau at around 15% over your baseline. So a pretty substantial 15 to 20% improvement in your testosterone levels with this 20 minute workout. But wait, there's more. When we look at other important hormones that are related to forestalling aging, 
they're all going up. So I showed you testosterone, here's growth hormone. Look at these incredibly substantial rises in growth hormone as we do this workout. And DHEA and androstenedione are the precursor hormones to testosterone, and these also go up. So here you're seeing a pretty substantial increase in your DHEA levels, and here's your androstenedione levels. So you're getting significant increases in testosterone, in growth hormone, in DHEA and androstenedione in 20 minutes twice a week. All right, so let's look at the workout. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pick two days that are separated by a two-day rest period. So we're gonna do a Monday, Thursday, a Tuesday, Friday, something like that. And on day one, we're gonna do six reps to failure of each muscle group. And on day two, we're gonna do 10 reps to failure. And what are the exercises that we're gonna do? We're gonna do three sets of leg press, and I'm gonna show you how to do these in the gym in just a minute. And for each set of leg press, we're gonna take a two minute rest and then get back on it. So it's one set of six reps on day one, two minute rest, then another set of six reps, two minute rest, another set of six reps. And then after we're done with the leg press, we're gonna follow that up with leg extensions. Again, I'll show you what this looks like in a minute. And on this one, we're gonna only take a minute rest, but we're gonna do one leg at a time. So we're gonna do one leg, the right leg on the leg extensions, minute rest, left leg, right leg, left leg. And this whole routine should take you only about 20 minutes. And the only caveat is you've gotta push yourself to failure. So on that sixth rep every time, you should be pushing the limit so that you can't do a seventh rep. And if that's your Monday, then on your Thursday, you're gonna do 10 reps. So same idea, but you're gonna increase the rep screen by four, which means you're probably gonna to have to cut back on the weight a little bit. And every week we'll increase the weight so that we're always hitting that failure point. And by week two or three, you should be seeing these significant increases in testosterone, growth hormone, androstenedione, and DHA. So that's the workout and Let's cut to the gym now. I'll show you how these look, and then I'll come back and tell you what you need to do in order to maximize your gains. Okay, so now we're at the gym, and as you can see, I'm starting on the leg press machine. The start position for this is your legs should be at a 90 degree angle. You don't need to be bent more than that at the knees. And then we're gonna have our heels roughly in line with our shoulders, a little wider than the hips. And we're gonna press up cleanly, such that it takes about two seconds to extend and then two seconds to lower the weight. And we're gonna repeat this six times on a heavy day and 10 times on a light day. After each set to failure, take the two minute rest and then repeat. Once we've done three sets on the leg press, now we're gonna move over to the leg extension. The start position on the leg extension is at about a 90 degree angle of flexion at the knee and then we're gonna extend up almost to locking out the knee, but we're not gonna get there. We're gonna stop short of locking out the knee, and then we're gonna lower it back down. Same as on the leg press, we're gonna take about two seconds to extend and two seconds to lower, and then we're gonna repeat for the full six reps or 10 reps, depending on the day. Take one minute rest, then switch legs, take another minute rest, then switch legs, and do it three times for each leg. And that's your whole workout. So this whole thing should take you only about 20 minutes. And just remember to push yourself to failure and take time to warm up and select your weight. So you're gonna need a few minutes in the gym before you get started to pick your weight, warm up. And as always, if you're unfamiliar with these exercises, definitely don't hesitate to ask for supervision and always ask your doctor before making any changes to your workout routine. That's all, and let's get back to the studio. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and takeaways here are, if you're really looking to raise your testosterone levels, try the intense workout that I gave you. It's incredible to think that in three days in the gym, you're gonna get these incredible 30% increases in your testosterone level. If you wanna put in less effort, but get most of that benefit, do the 20 minutes twice a week. That's a great workout, I showed you how to do it super straightforward, and just remember to push your reps to failure. If you're looking for more resources, go to my website, daveclaytonmd.com. I've got a ton of additional resources that are gonna help you on your journey to improving your health and forestalling aging. And of course, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.